Hey kids, ever want to do what you want, whenever you want, but can't because you always have to listen to your pesky parents? Ever wanted to know what it'd be like if you just kill them? Well, stay tuned to find out how. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Castle Classic Movies, bringing you spooktacular cinema you can sit through while snacking on your Snickers, Skittles, Sweet Tarts, Sour Patch Kids, or for the stoned, all the above. I'm your host, Chris Castillo. As we move through Monster Month, we're going to cover a film based on a novel written by legendary author Stephen King, who, with almost 50 film adaptations under his belt, the King of Horror remains arguably the greatest author of the genre. So with that said, we're going to cover one of those adaptations that made it okay to not eat your vegetables, Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn is a 1984 horror film based on the 1977 short story of the same name and it stars Peter Horton and Linda Hamilton. Set in Gatlin, Nebraska, a rural part of the country where half the town swaps the same stories and sisters, it's an adult free zone where kids make the rules. which sounds like a dream come true upon entering, until you realize all the parents were systematically murdered. Why, you ask? Well, the townsfolk were pretty religious, and one year when the crops failed, they decided to pray for a solution instead of getting things done the old-fashioned way, like going to their local Home Depot. How doers get more done. However, there's Isaac, who is arguably the creepiest looking middle-aged child in movies, looking like a cross between Frankie Muniz and Gollum from Lord of the Rings. He takes all of the town's children into the cornfields to indoctrinate them into a religious cult based on the deity known as He Who Walks Behind the Rose. So shall be the unbelievers. Jeez, kid's only 12 and already looks like he's been through alimony and 30 years of chain smoking. Isaac and his subordinate Malachi, a clear derivative of what happens when two lovers share the same grandparents. <laughs> lead the children in a revolution, murdering all of the adults ages 19 and above. Three years later, on October 31st, Vicky, aka Sarah Connor, Come with me if you want to live. and her boyfriend, Bert, are traveling through the country on their way to Seattle. You look tired. If you're tired, you can totally lay down. Just take a little lap nap. Open for biz. During fellatio, they run over a kid who comes stumbling out of the fields and into the road. Totally an oh moment, they check on him. Is he? Oh yeah. And see that he had his throat cut before getting T-boned. So it's okay, no need to call the cops, they'll probably find the body anyway. Turns out the kid watched Shawshank Redemption one too many times and thought he could escape the cult. But they wanted to leave him with a parting gift, what most hoods refer to as a buck fifty. Come on now, by the hands of your chinny chin chin. Y'all might need to think this through and stop wasting my time. Not doing time for no hayseed hillbilly short a few chromosomes, Bert and Sarah Connor put the body in the trunk. They enter the town and find a place to lay low. Bert then goes searching on his own. Malachi, knowing every peephole in town, finishes his business, captures Sarah Connor, and takes her to the cornfields to be sacrificed. But Isaac and Malachi haven't been getting along lately. He's displeased with you, Malachi. So Malachi, tired of Isaac's preaching, takes over, ordering that the little gremlin be strung up for sacrifice as well. He will punish you! The child of hell will devour you! During this, Bert comes to the rescue, but then a supernatural light appears and devours the screaming goblin child. The kids are like, okay, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. So they abandon the cult, but the little pimple suddenly reappears. Malachi! possessed by he who walks behind the rose. He wants you too, Malachi. Now all juiced up, he tells Malachi that he's really pissed off at what he did and breaks his neck. <laughs> totally over this whole situation, the couple gets into Terminator mode and burns that bitch to the ground, destroying the demon. Bert and Sarah Connor make it back to the car where they encounter one final attempt on their lives. Sarah Connor introduces the aggressor's face to a car door. <laughs> And the couple gets the f out of Dodge. What'd you think of this movie? Makes my tan ass not want to take a road trip through the country even with a couple of friends. If you'd like to check out this flick, you can find it on Hulu, Amazon Prime, Hoopla, Pluto TV, 
Tubi, and the Roku channel. Well, that wraps it up for another episode of CCM, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up with all the recommended classics to watch during quarantine. And as we roll through the month of Monster Mayhem, try to lay off the high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, that's a, a sugar rush. High fructose corn syrup, candied cocaine for Americans. And as always, folks, you stay safe and stay classy. <laughs>